Hello everyone, we will continue the topic how to send a PDF form or Adobe form as an email attachment and in the previous video, we finished with first five steps, but we created the SAP user and we added that SAP user as a recipient. Now we will create the external user or external recipient and then we will add that as a recipient. Now in this particular video, I will take two additional points also which was not covered when we sent smart form PDF as an email attachment. When I covered that topic, after that, I received two queries from maximum people. If I want to send a mail to multiple users, how I can send? If I want to send the mail in CC and BCC, you all know, yes, we can send a mail to multiple recipients. Sometimes we put the recipient in CC and BCC. So those two additional points will also also be covered here. So this is the additional learning in this video. Now what I will do, I will firstly create the external user or external recipient. Means from SAP, we want to send the mail to external recipient. Suppose from SAP, we want to send a mail of Gmail. Suppose someone has email address of Gmail. Suppose someone has email address of Yahoo. So we will send this where we will see this particular process. Now, whenever we want to create a external recipient, I will make use of this particular class. So I will go to SC24 transaction code and I will go for this particular class. There is no difference. Previously, we created the SAP user. Now we will create the external user. You can see CL underscore CAM underscore address underscore BCS. I will make use of this class. Now we have so many methods here. If I will scroll down, we have a method here, create internet address. I will use this particular method. Now this method is a static method. So it means I can directly, directly call this method with the help of class. So I will go to the program. Now I will simply go to pattern button. I will go for a map object patterns. Now there is no need for the instance now. I will directly put the class CL underscore cam underscore address underscore PCS. I will go to the methods. Now I will go for create internet address. I'll put end. Now I will simply simply pass my Gmail in my Gmail address. So I will put my email address. Previously, we added the SAP user. Now I'm passing my internet email address. Now I will go for the result. In front of result, Suppose I'm writing LO underscore external recipient. Now, the type of LO external recipient will be same as that of result. How I can check? I will double click. This LO, this result is referring to this particular class. It means it is returning as the object because type ref2 means object. So I will simply declare the object. 
So I will write allo underscore external recipient. External recipient. I will just paste. I pasted the name. I pasted that particular thing. Now I created the external recipient. Now, as of now, I have one external recipient. At that time, I received so many queries. If I want to send a mail to multiple recipients, then what you can do? You can call this method one more time. And you can go for one more email address. So I will copy this code. Suppose this time I will go for another email address. But at a time you can pass only one. Yes, now I passed one more email address. Now I created two external recipient. Now I will simply go for one here. Now I will declare one more object also because now we are going for two external recipient. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. So we created the two external recipient. Now we need to add those recipients. If you remember in case of SAP user also what you did. You firstly created the SAP user, but after that you added the recipient. Same thing is here. We created the external recipient. We created the external email addresses, external addresses. But now we need to add those as a recipient. And same to same, whenever we want to add as a recipient, we will make use of which particular class CL underscore BCS. So I will go to CL underscore BCS class. Now we will go for add recipient method. Previously also we use this particular method. Now rather than SAP user, now we will add the external user. So now I will go to pattern button. You all know I will go to a app object patterns. Now add recipient is a instance method. Whenever we have a instance method, yes, we need to do the object. We need to call the method through the object. What is the object of BCS class? Allo underscore BCS. I will write CL underscore BCS. Now I will go to F4 help. I will go for add underscore recipient. Now we need to add two recipients now because we created two recipients. So firstly, I will add the first recipient. Suppose what is the object of the first recipient which you received? Allo underscore external recipient. So we added the first recipient. Now we need to add the second recipient also. So I will copy this. And now I will add the second recipient also. This is my second recipient. So we also studied how to go for multiple recipients. You need to create the multiple recipients. You need to add the multiple recipients. But do not forget to pass the different, different object of those different recipients. Because I saw so many people will pass the same to same object. If you are going for same to same object, ultimately you are going for addition of same to same recipient. Now, next question which comes from the people, how I can go for carbon copy and how I can go for blind carbon copy. 
have you seen we have two parameters i underscore copy and i underscore blind copy if you want to add this email address suppose this email address i want to send in cc i want to put this email address into cc in that particular mail so you added the recipient so if you want to put in cc just uncomment this parameter and we all know we need to pass the value to what capital x x means what true so this particular recipient will be in cc in that particular mail suppose i want to put that particular person into blind pcc then what i will do i will simply simply put blind carbon copy also to capital x so both queries are answered how to add multiple recipients if you want to add that recipient in in cc or bcc you do not want to put into then what you can do you can simply simply put that i underscore copy is equal to capital x or you can put i underscore blind carbon copy to capital x so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we started with how to create a external recipient now now we will send the mail to external recipient to create a external recipient we simply make use of the class cl underscore cam underscore address underscore bcs and we use this particular method it was a static method so we directly call the method through the class we pass the email address and we received the object in the return then we created one more external recipient and i put different email address but do not take do not forget to take a different object firstly this is the object of this email address this is the object of this email address then after that i used cl underscore bcs class which method add underscore recipient method i added the first email address i added the second email address so i called add underscore recipient method two times now after that if you want to go for that recipient in the cc or bcc depends upon the requirement you can put these two parameter to capital x capital x means two now in the next video what we will do we will go for the document process if you see as of now what we did in our particular scenario we simply created the send request it means we clicked on to the compose button now after that we passed the recipient we created the recipient we passed the recipient now we will go for this documentation process means subject body of the mail now we will go for this particular thing in the next video so that's it in this particular video thank you